Hey everyone, okay, so this is my official uh, Smuggler's Run review. So I dived into my thoughts a little bit in regards to this attraction in my video yesterday, in my previous video, but I really wanted to get into a little more detail as to what I thought about this attraction. So let's start off with the queue area. Now the queue area, I'm not trying to be a shill or anything like that. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I, I thought it was flawless. It, it reminded me very much of you know the indiana jones adventure queue it's long <laughs> like there's a lot of walking but um there's so much detail i mean it, it's incredible you go through i think it's like a warehouse i think it's hondo's like warehouse or you know i don't know <laughs> but it looks great um there's like a like some kind of land speeder on display and you hear all the chatter between the various um like mechanics it's impressive. It really is impressive, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it. I, I think the queue area is flawlessly executed. So now, in regards to the attraction itself, now I will say I've done previous videos in regards to the Smuggler's Run before I experienced it, and I kind of expressed concern that I thought that the interactivity of this attraction came off a little gimmicky. Right, I, I, I've said that many times. I, I've, I've expressed concern about that. I'm not a huge fan of interactivity. I'm just not. I think it, it does come off very gimmicky. However, after experiencing this attraction, that interactive element is essential. It's essential to this ride, okay? In the movies, in the Star Wars movies, it's the banter, right? It's the banter and the way that the characters interact with each other in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, which makes it so much fun. Okay, it's not the ship itself necessarily, it's the fact that Han and Leia, and they're, they're all kind of, you know, talking trash, and they're all, right? That same element now is, is kind of um, transferred into this attraction because of that interactivity. So now that, you know, we have everyone having their own jobs, you know, there's the pilots, the engineers, and the gunners, you're kind of forced to communicate with your cockpit and it creates that same kind of banter that you that you see in the movies it, it's perfect it, it, if disney would have had this attraction like star tours where you just sit in the chair and you passively watch everything it, it wouldn't have felt like the falcon it needed that interactivity to make it feel like the film because in the film they're all talking trash and you know han solo you know don't get cocky kid right that same feeling is in this in this attraction because of that interactivity so i was wrong i was straight up wrong saying that the interactive element was a gimmick after experiencing it not only is it not a gimmick, it's essential. It was necessary in this attraction. I absolutely loved that aspect of this ride. Now, when I, when I initially watched a lot of videos on Smuggler's Run, I noticed that it looked very video gamey, right? The graphics, it just didn't, it felt like a video game when I watched it on YouTube. When you experience the attraction yourself, I don't know if it's because you're busy doing the levers and the buttons. I didn't notice the the, the video game video game quality uh, that I, that I noticed when I watched it on a video at home. It, I it felt much more real, um, much more. I don't know. It, it, it just felt more tangible. It felt more like a real experience when you're actually in that cockpit. Videos for this attraction do not do the justice. They absolutely do not. So, um, you know, I was really pleased with the way that the, that the graphics looked, the scenery. Everything looked really, really top notch. Now, one thing I do want to point out is in this attraction, your mission is in regards to like transporting this coaxium, right? And if you've seen Solo, a Star Wars story, you know what the coaxium is. It's funny because you can tell this attraction was being designed and written um, before Solo, a Star Wars story came out. So it was sort of like a lot of that Solo stuff was in there. And I think it was before they knew the movie was going to flop. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I thought that was kind of interesting. But uh, overall, you guys, I really love this attraction. It, it's a top-notch ride. It felt really authentic. It really did. And that interactivity adds a lot to the experience. And uh, 
I absolutely loved it. Like I said in my last video, it's the most fun I've had on an attraction in years in years and I compared it to Grizzly River Run because like Grizzly River Run when you're in your raft and you're and you're, you're you kind of bond right with your raft mates you're in this together it's the same thing with the Falcon you're all in this experience together and you work with each other to do this and it's it's just a ton of fun it's a lot of fun you guys you're gonna love it you are absolutely gonna love it but what are your thoughts have you been on Smuggler Run if you have comment below what are your thoughts on it did you like it did you love it did you hate it what are your thoughts? Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, may the force be with you.